Marlene. Marlene. Marlene! Marlene! Biggs! Witch! Jesse! God damn it! God damn you! God damn you all! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before, it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Huh? Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did. You sure? Hey, where are you going? <sighs> I said. Where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, Tifa, know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. <sighs> you have failed again, I see.
It's nothing. Let's go. Wait. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Where's Marlene? <laughs> Is she here? Barrett! <sighs> Sorry, I'm Barrett. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I... took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> because she's an ancient, is that it? So she told you about that? She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. about 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no, this one, right here. I mean... 
What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <sighs> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could, if I could ever. Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. You're alive! <sighs> Who else made it out? I wish I knew. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm just glad you survived. Gives me hope for the others. Hmm. on the other side.
My God. <laughs> Just a little more. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it won't budge. Make room. Mara, you're alive. <laughs> With me. Ready? And... <laughs> Great job, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. So, what now? Don't know. Find something, anything to do. Been back to the bar yet? No. Maybe you should go take a look? <sighs> then the rest. Careful. The roads are a mess. Watch your step or you'll wind up in a hole. It's Wedge's cat. What? Let's follow it. if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Okay, let's go.
About time, Merc. You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? How'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know who did that kind of mess. We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but... Don't. They've returned to the planet. supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <clears throat> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never gonna let Aerith go. 
She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and meat Enough! to him. But... Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Can't sleep? No. You too? I heard footsteps. Sorry. Didn't mean to wake you. I'm a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night? That was from Aerith, wasn't it? I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now... It's dead and buried. <sighs> like the bar. Our home, and everything else. <laughs> they took everything from us, again. It's not true. Thank you. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? I'm sorry, honey. 
I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay. You can go. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. Hey, Cloud. Hmm, gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. Everyone disappeared. Heads up. Hey there, Mark. Brought some friends today, I see. Name's Murray. Cloud and me, we... Well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well... There's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that gill is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the street says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat. Girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Bro! Tifa! Damn, is it good to see you guys again. I told you to stop calling me that. Bro, I'm in serious need of your expertise. Lend me a hand. Fine. What? Truth is, I'm uh, trying to get out of town for uh, reasons. Yeah, reasons. But the thing is... <laughs> I got mugged! She took it! Took it all, man! <sighs> I tried to chase her down, I really did! 
But she was real fast like. Man, what am I gonna do? This could be the end for old Johnny boy. I'm begging you, help me out. Come on, bro. What'd she look like? Bro. Uh, hold on. Let me think. I wanna get this right. She was a cutie. Black hair. Pretty sure she was wearing a hat. And, uh, oh yeah. She was wearing these striped stockings, too. Kyrie? Which way'd she go? Uh, toward the church, I think. What? It wasn't me. You've got the wrong girl. Never committed a crime in my life. You Kyrie? Uh, Kyrie? Who's that? Can't say I know her, but cool name. <laughs> Someone mugged our friend and took every last skill he had. Sound familiar? Oh, that? <laughs> Ooh, I thought I was in actual trouble. Don't scare me like that. Now I remember you. You're that chick. The one who was spreading lies in Sector 5. Oh yeah, I did do that. <laughs> good times, good times. <gasps> Hold on. I know you, Blondie. You're that merc everyone's talking about. Huh, maybe my luck's not so bad. Shinra's after me. You've got to help me. So from them too, did you? No. Well, yes, sorta. It's complicated. How was I supposed to know they were Shinra? And now those jerks won't leave me alone. Even though all I took was some ugly key. I mean, what's the big deal anyway? Wait a minute. That was you? <sighs> oh, great. So everyone's talking about it? <laughs> Is this the end? Am I a dead woman? Do I have to go in the run? Leave Midgar forever and, and never look back? Kyrie, please, just give us the money you stole from our friend, would you? And the key while you're at it. No way! You're gonna split it the second I do! Then who will protect me? I can't handle this on my own! <sighs> <sighs> we'll handle Shinra if you give us the key. Deal? It's a deal! about now, those Shinra creeps should be hanging out at the Coliseum. They're waiting for a special match to start, starring yours truly. It's the talk of the town. You're joking. Oh, I won't be there. I'm not stupid. It's a miracle you've managed to stay alive this long. I'll take that as a compliment. Now run along and clean up my mess. If it isn't Cloud. We're looking for a way topside. No one? Good luck with that. Security's so tight these days that not even a gnat could slip through. Walmart gets in a sorry state, too. Corneo's men are turning it upside down looking for Avalanche. Hmm? The man with a gun for an arm. What? Got a problem? No, but you might. Corneo's men are searching high and low for an Avalanche member who fits your description. Shinra has placed a very impressive bounty on you and your friends' heads. And a lot of people are looking to get rich. Ain't these fools got anything better to do? You should also know that you and that arm of yours were spotted in the Sector 5 slums. Apparently, you were loitering in a rather lovely flower garden. Oh, yeah? Wait. This is bad. Really bad. Let's move. How'd it go? Well enough. If they're smart, they won't send anyone else. Really? Oh, that is so good to hear. Learn your lesson, girl? Totally. From now on, I only steal from the right people. That ain't the lesson. Oh, talk about a weight off my shoulders. Oh, I completely lost track of time. I'd better get going. Hold it. Uh, Grandma! Why are you here? You, young lady, are gonna hear about this later. Thank you for keeping her out of trouble. She say grandma? What? Did I forget to mention it to you? Kyrie is my granddaughter, my flesh and blood. See? We even have the same eyes. Kyrie, the key. You've kept them waiting long enough. Yeah, yeah. What's it for, anyway? Why do you guys want it? And how's that any of your business, young lady? Learn to wipe your own ass before you start rooting around in other people's shit. Ugh, Grandma, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. Me embarrass you, says the girl who steals from anyone. Even a thief needs principles. 
Not to mention the courage of convictions to follow their conscience. Take it from me, the guardian angel of the slums. Wait a minute. You're the angel? And you three are Avalanche. <sighs> There's a fire in you. I can see it flickering in your eyes. That same fire's in me too. The guardian angel of the slums, Avalanche, they're just names. We are who we choose to be. But you have to decide who that is and commit. Make the most of your time when you still have it. Right? <laughs> I hear Corneo's got secret rooms hidden in the sewers. More than even he knows if the rumors are true. My wallet! My precious wallet! You really did it, bro! I knew I could count on you! For the last time, don't call me that. Thank you. Now I can get out of town. You're leaving? Hush, Tifa. Don't try to stop me. I'm a wanted man in these parts. If I stayed, I'd be a danger to you too. Uh, okay? But if you beg me to stay, I could reconsider throwing everything away. Good luck out there, Johnny. Oh, uh, okay. You'll be fine wherever. You're Johnny. Don't forget. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I am! I'm your Johnny, Tifa, and nothing's gonna bring me down. Bro, Tifa, keep on shining. Johnny out. Wait, you? Ah, uh, should have known you were one of them. But am I? Whatever. Enough of this bullshit. Hey, let him loose. Uh, sure. Ha. Y'all are in for a world of hurt now. Hack him to bits, you hear me? Leave the faces, though. Shinra ain't gonna give us the bounty otherwise. We give up, uh, okay? We won't say a word to no one about you being here. Really. Honest. That's right. You'll tell everyone we were never here. That the rumors were bullshit. And if we hear about you, or any of your friends, coming around here ever again... You'll answer to my boot. Yes, sir! Uh, miss? Oh, hey, Barrett. Hey, how's it going? Could be better. I've got a good number of watchmen out looking for survivors. But as much as I'd love to join them, I've got another mess on my hands at the moment. Remember those rumors about a lab? They're true. There is one. Hidden underground somewhere and it's full of monsters. So Cloud, think you can lend us a hand with it? It's only a matter of time before these monsters come calling. I know it's a dangerous job, but... But no one else can do it. Well, yeah. So help us out. <laughs> 